hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to add states for the records right now we have already generated the model for the appointments and suppose appointments will have different states like draft state uh, once it is confirmed it will it has to move to confirm state once the appointment is finished it has to be moved to the done state and if the appointment has got cancelled it has to move to the cancel state so what i'm talking here is about if i go to the sales module you can see a workflow that is states in the top side of the head you can see here quotation quotation sent and sale order so let's see how we can do the same here in our appointment model so let's see how we can add uh, the states like a draft confirm done and cancel for the appointments so if i go to the hospital menu and to the appointments let's see how we can add the same here in the header section of our appointment view so first of all we have to define a model sorry we have to define a field inside our model for storing the value of the state so we have to add a state field that is state field of type selection if i search existing code for a field with state equal to fields if i search inside the python i will move to the python py so you can see a lot of samples here i'll just copy a selection field from here so that i can type there's no need to type so I will paste the copied thing here in our model that is hospital.appointment model where we are going to add the state. So state field is a selection field and the values are draft. I will change open to confirm. Confirm and its string is changed to confirm here and no need of in payment. And instead of paid, I will change to done state so that once we can move the state to done when the appointment is done and cancel state so string status i will remove this attribute index to read only to default draft so what here we have done is we have defined a field of type selection with values as draft confirm done and cancel and default state is set as to set as draft state so this is all about you have to do inside the python section so if i go to the xml here i have this is the corresponding form view you can see this is the form view where we have to add the header if i open the debug mode from here in the settings so the developer mode is getting activated if i if you don't know the form id suppose if i am not aware of aware of the id of this record so i can get it from here from view metadata you can get the external id of the record sorry from not from the view metadata from edit view form so from here you can get the id of the record that is appointment form so i can search in that inside the code and yes that's it like this you can trace the record so here inside this record i have to add the states the, so, so normally the state is added right before the sheet tag you can see sheet tag here so before the sheet tag i will add a header tag that is we are going to add the state inside the header tag so i just add the tags that is open the header tag and close the header tag so inside this tag i will add the field we have defined inside the python that is field with name state and i will close it that is here we have defined a field with name state i have added that state in uh, added that field inside the header tag now if i restart the service as i have made changes inside the python file for adding the new state i just restart the service and now if i upgrade the module right now there is nothing in top of the screen so once we upgrade the module we will get something there but not exactly as what we have seen in the sales i will come to that point so if i will activate the developer mode so sorry i will install upgrade the module so the module is getting upgraded okay once after the module is upgraded uh, definitely you will see the default state in the top of the record so if i go to the hospital and then to the appointments if i open an appointment you can see draft state but it's not good as what we have seen in the sales if you go to the sales you can see you can see all the states there with a workflow like widget so it is seen because we haven't given a widget here we have to give widget equal to status bar here widget equal to status bar this is the default which is available in the odoo so along with the field i have given widget equal to status bar now i will restart the service and just remember what you are seeing right now you are getting like a just you are getting only draft so after adding that widget equal to status bar i will upgrade the module now after the module is upgraded successfully you can see the change 
now you can see all the state like draft confirm done cancel etc all the state inside the header now so if i go to hospital and then to the appointments you can see if i open a record you can see all the state that is draft confirm done and cancel here in the header so this is about we can how to add a header or state to the record so now let's see suppose if you don't want to see the cancel there unless it is moved to the cancel state so by default we want to see only draft state confirm state and done state so let's see what we can do for that for that what we have to do is that we can add one more attribute here that is status bar visible i will search inside the code Control shift f and i will change this to xml as we are searching inside the xml you can see status bar visible option so using this you can give using this you can give which all state has to be visible inside the status bar right now we are seeing all the four state draft confirm done and cancel i don't want to see the cancel state so i will give draft has to be visible done has to be seen and confirm state also has to be seen so like that i will give here which all fields which all state has to be visible there so you have to give name like with this keys that is draft confirm and done so the three i have given here now i will update the module again so once after the module is updated you won't see the cancel button here so i will go to the apps menu and i will update the module okay the module is getting upgraded so once after the module is upgraded you won't see the cancel button there in the header so the module is upgraded hospital appointments and if i open an appointment you can see the cancel state is removed from the header right now we are rolling see draft confirm and cancel sorry draft confirm and done state so this is all about how to add the states uh, to the record now we have to add the buttons for moving the state right now with the record is default state is draft so let's we have to add buttons here for moving the state that we will discuss in the right next video Hope you have understood how to add this here in the header section if you have any queries you can comment it out we will reply you as soon as possible and please don't forget to subscribe or like our videos thank you